Hello everyone, my name is Rampage and Blizzard just nerfed the XP meta, so here's the new one. So you may be aware of the Moggins Works XP farm. It's been nerfed into the ground, it's garbage, you don't want to touch it. So now we want to farm a dungeon named Champion's Demise. There are actually many things that make Champion's Demise better than the old farm. It's much more solo friendly, it's also more friendly for groups as well. And if that's not good enough, this dungeon is pretty big so you won't have to reset as often. Which is what I hated most about the old farm. I would highly recommend everyone go use this farming method right now. Blizzard is on an insane track record of nerfing anything and everything that could possibly be considered fun or overpowered. It's also very likely that they will nerf the XP rate from this farm too. So definitely share this with your friends and go grind this while you still can. So as soon as you get into the dungeon there are two different ways you can play it. You can either run through the dungeon to group together a bunch of mobs and then quickly kill them as a group, or you can just kill all the mobs and then reset the dungeon. Personally, I prefer to just kill everything. I find that the less dungeon resetting I have to do the better. So I'll show you guys the layout of this dungeon and then you'll be able to see why it's great for both soloing and multiplayer. Getting into the dungeon, only about 10 steps in we are going to find the middle of the map and we are going to see some pedestals for some stones that you can find in the dungeon as well. This is how you unlock the boss room, so we are going to just ignore this. It simply doesn't give enough XP for the time investment it takes to put all the stones on the pedestals. From here the dungeon is kinda like a T shape. There's a path down here, a path down here, and a path down here. So if you are playing with two other players, you can have one person per path and get effectively three times the XP. However, if you are playing solo, that's not a problem. You can simply run around and group a bunch of enemies together so you can easily kill them. Or you can just run around and kill all the enemies, whichever you prefer. Once you have killed all the enemies you want to kill in the dungeon, you will want to reset the dungeon and there are two ways to reset the dungeon. The first way is to simply leave the dungeon for about 60 to 90 seconds and it will reset automatically. It's a great opportunity to go to town if you need to. However, if you don't feel like waiting around you can reset the dungeon much faster by simply leaving the game after leaving the dungeon. Once you have left the game simply select the character you are playing and the dungeon will be reset. This is much faster than waiting around. I find that this dungeon is extremely good for XP and legendaries. I am also getting a lot of unique items from this location as well. I think it is simply because of how many mobs there are in here compared to the other dungeons. Overall I think you can get about 2 level ups and about 30 legendaries an hour farming this and that's if you are doing it solo. These numbers could be as much as triple if you were doing this with some friends. I would also like to remind everyone that there's a lot of elixirs you can craft at the alchemist and a lot of them give you 5% more XP. 5% more XP may not sound like a lot, but when it takes like 50 hours to grind from level 1 to 100, you definitely want to use all the advantages you can and save yourself a couple of hours. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, don't forget to subscribe, and if you would like to support the channel further, consider supporting on Patreon.